is Black Hills Fox Sports. Welcome back. It's come to that time of year where we'll see if the Rhyme City Marshals will be better or worse than last year. Now the Marshals went winless last season, so just one win will make this season a success. Tonight's game was for real. Last week, a preseason game against the Rhyme City War Eagles tonight. Regular season play against the Iowa Rampage and there's South Dakota Mines football head coach Charlie Floor in the building. There's also Hard Rockers QB Jake Martinelli and this was the first game of the year and we already have a catch of the year nomination in the AFL. Take Odell Beckham Jr's one handed catch for the Giants a few years back and insert it straight into the Arena Football League. Not only was it a one handed grab over the barricade, but the Rampage hold on to the ball. You got to watch that again in slow motion. What a catch by the Iowa receiver for a touchdown and you got to celebrate after this one for Rapid City, not much got the crowd on their feet, but this one did. Jack Sheehan launching it the length of the field to none other than Mason Lee. That's the Wayne State College alum from Nebraska. He gets the grab and this sets up a touchdown play. Moments later, Sheehan to Breon Michelle and that got the Rapid City Marshals on the board. Their only score of the half and then later, the Rampage do it again. Rakeem Cato finds the end zone. The Marshals lose in game one. That final score is not available quite yet. To the college ranks, so much about the game of football involves preparation off the field and in the offseason. And believe it or not, a majority of the preparation revolves around players getting their bodies in shape through weightlifting and eating right. Last week, I spent one full day with the Black Hill State offensive and defensive line, both in the weight room and in the cafeteria, to see an up close look at what it takes to maintain the body of a college football player. Everything that we do in the weight room is pointless if you don't handle it off the field in nutrition. You have to be able to research and study all areas of what athletic performance is. <laughs> hey man, I think like three nutritional manuals. Control. And I'm not talking like two pages, I'm talking like pretty good, pretty good, thick, you know, packet of, of material. If you're not fueling your body um, like a sports car versus just a regular small mid-sized sedan, it, if, if it, it's different, if you're fueling it differently, um, you're going to perform differently. I try to get two 16-ounce steaks from our butcher shop and eat those every day. So a lot of, I spend a lot of money on food. You, you need to get this. I made like nachos with a pound of ground turkey. Then I went to Burger King and I got like a triple Whopper, <laughs> large fry, large root beer, killed all that. And then at midnight or like 1 a.m., I went to the gas station. I got a glizzy, shout out common sense. <laughs> I got a glizzy and some chips and a drink, came back, crashed that out, and then I went to bed. These are our needs as an athlete, and this is how to apply them. I've seen him on the bad ends of making weight whenever he was a player, and he knows how tough it is, and that's why he's trying to be so on top of it. I want to see a ring. That's a, yeah, for sure. Like That's all that I care about. I care about winning. I don't care what I got to do to win. If they told me I had to cut 30 pounds tomorrow, I, I'm going to cut that 30 pounds by tomorrow. 